extended access list so here i have taken a one topology in this topology we have a three pc and one server and then we will apply extended access list on this router and with the different different services okay so let's see that all the services are working now so you can test with the computer to try to ping server ping 1.1.2 and it is working if you test another service like web service 1.1.1.2 so that is also working if you are try uh, FTP service it is also working give password no Cisco Cisco and it is working okay so now you can test with another PC all the services this is working go to PC and try to ping it is working and if you ping FTP FTP try to access Cisco Cisco everything is working okay so we are going to configure access list for uh, three proper rules so what are the rules rules is that uh, give me let me give the name pc1 pc2 and pc3 okay so the rule is first is pc1 cannot ping server okay first rule rule one second rule is that pc2 cannot access ftp services okay and rule two rule three pc3 cannot access web services okay so let's do it how we can achieve it open the console of this router and uh, we will do extended access list so config terminal ip access list extended and give the name extended range is 100 to 199 okay so give any name 100 and above it now what says first rule PC cannot ping server okay so deny deny host ICMP deny ICMP host and the IP address of the host 192.168.1.2 and destination address host 1.1.2 okay that's it second rule is pc2 cannot access ftp service deny tcp host 192.168.1.3 host 1.1.1.2 and equal 
ftp that's it pc3 cannot access web service deny tcp host 192.168.1.4 host is same and equal and equal that you need to give the uh, port number of that service or you can give direct the host service itself http if it is unrecognized then type www okay so you have applied the access list to deny the three rules so rest of the things you need to allow so what the configuration permit ip any any okay permit icmp any any permit tcp any any okay so you have configured the access list now you need to apply on the interfaces so this router has two interfaces inside inbound and outbound so interface 000 and ip access group 100 inbound okay ip access group 100 outbound that's it now time to test the services so just open pc1 and check the ping to the server command prompt ping 1.1.2 so you see you are not getting reply from the server because destination host unreachable but can you test web services ftp service from this pc let's see you can access web service let's try to ping uh, try to access ftp service so that is also working so it's mean that our access list is working 100% now try with uh, test with second pc so what the rule says PC2 cannot access FTP service. So firstly try to ping if it is working or not. And it should be working as per the rule. Sorry. I have given wrong IP. Mean the time you can test the FT, uh, web services. So this is working. It is taking some time now try to ping 1112 so ping and web services are working and FTP server service should not work as per rule says so FTP 1112 so you see trying to connect but it will not connect so uh, that's the main rule of this access list now try with third pc uh, third pc says that you cannot access uh, web services but you can access ftp and ping let me open proper ping 1112 it is working tp1112 that is also working but when you try to ping uh, access web services that should not work and it is not working at all okay now you can see the access list parameters and how many hits you got from the source so so access list so you see in the four matches from the first pc 12 matches from the second pc 
and 16 matches from the 4 PC and rest everything that is uh, permitted so 65 matches so thank you thank you for watching this video